Necrotronic is the newest film from the director of Wormwood, Road of the Dead, which I rather enjoyed. So when I saw that this was the first feature-length film that he had made since that, I got pretty excited, especially since I saw a little bit of the trailer, and the trailer looked aesthetically very interesting, uh, especially for a lower-budget film. And so I went over to YouTube and rented this for seven bucks, six, seven bucks. Yeah, seven bucks, I want to say. So this is an expensive ass rental for a VOD. I usually don't rent something that's that expensive. But I said, hey, screw it. Uh, Alex King from Beyond the Void was kind of raving about this. I really liked uh, uh, Wormwood, Road of the Dead. So I was like, all right, man, let's throw this on. This film is the perfect example of an overly ambitious, lower budget film that absolutely swings for the fences and misses mostly because of the fact that they are trying to cram way too much into too short of a time. I mean, the amount of stuff that they're trying to cover within this film could have been a 10 episode or more television series like so much happens in the first hour and even in the last half too, the last half an hour but I, I the reason I bring up an hour is because I was like an hour in and I was just thinking about everything that they had already tried to throw at the screen as far as plot goes and it gets extremely convoluted extremely fast and I was just sitting there like, wow, if only this guy had a little more time to flesh things out and properly address things and properly introduce things and properly imagine things so that there, not everything felt like it was at warp speed. I just, it was crazy how fast characters were in introduced, dispatched, ideas were brought up. And, and, and just kind of were injected into the story and you're like, wait, what's how, wait, what does that mean? And what is this going on over here? And then wait, what's their goal? And who are these people? And okay, wait, what? It's just so much too fast. And it's not because I can't keep up. It's not because I'm dumb. It's just, it's too much packed into something and it's not giving it enough time to marinate. It's not giving it enough time for the audience to, you know, understand what this character's goals are and get to know who this character is and this film also relies a decent amount on comedy and I honestly the I don't think any of the comedy landed for me at all now obviously mileage may vary for a different person they might think everything's funny and if you have that going for you definitely are going to enjoy this movie more than I did but this is a very ambitious low budget film and there is a ton of stuff to admire on display here and I can absolutely cherry pick things that I genuinely enjoyed and you know I thought that the I thought that a decent amount of the cast we we've got uh we've got Persephone from the Matrix sequels here um my, Monica Belushi, Belu, not Belushi, Belushi, however you say her name. And then you got freaking Faramir from Lord of the Rings in here. Um, those are the two faces that I'm familiar with. Uh, you got a couple hot chicks here who play sisters in the movie. You've got a lead that I liked. It's, it's okay. And this is a lower budget film, but man, it really goes for it on the aesthetics. You know, it's it's got lots of neon colors and... Essentially what this is, is the story is kind of like Pokemon Go, but with like demons and, the, and this game that actually comes to life. And it's so goddamn convoluted when you're watching it. You just can't even believe it. When <laughs> I was sitting there just like, okay, what? What's now? What's happening? Because they want to... And I like it because it is ambitious. Because I, I can see that the, the writer and the, and the director... I don't know if they're one and the same. But if they are or if they're not, it doesn't matter. They were really trying to bring something unique. And I've said this a million times. I would rather have someone try something unique, try something different, not play by the uh, playbook 
that we are all familiar with and fail miserably than to just kind of check the boxes and make a mediocre movie like that's lame i would rather it fail horribly it'd be a terrible movie but at least try and now this isn't a terrible movie because as i had already stated this is ambitious and it's got lots to admire and that stuff so i i would overall because that's kind of just how i'm going to rate something here at the end overall i'm kind of like it was fine like that's where i'm at just if i was to take all of it and mash it all together and just be like my overall feelings is just, you know, it was fine. I really liked parts. I really didn't like other parts. I, more than anything, I just wish they could have taken time. Just give this film, uh, give this concept more, uh, give it multiple episodes, make it into a television series. It's a ridiculous plot line. And, and the, there's certain characters, like his buddy character, that, that's like a... I don't want to say what happens to him, but kind of become... Oh, I guess that'll be spoilers if... I don't know what the hell to say about it. But it reminded me of something like an American werewolf in London. You know what I'm getting at. It just... It never worked for me. I, I, I wanted to like it. Um, it. I also kind of felt like the Frighteners at times. It had that kind of feel, but it just none of that landed like i i'm comparing it to two movies that i like a hundred times more this is something that was kind of a bummer to watch because it was like oh this could have been really cool and this could have been really awesome but it really all just kind of became a muddled mess for me and so I would not spend seven dollars on it. That's for damn sure. So if you're uh, gonna check this out, I would wait for it to drop somewhere where you don't have to spend six ninety nine. So, anyways, uh, so Alex, sorry man, this one did not work for me as well as it did for you. But uh, I am looking forward to hearing what you guys have to think, have to think, have to say, whatever. You know what I mean. Adios. <laughs>